And so, here we are. You may be wondering what went wrong, why I didn't manage to escape. The police caught up with me less than 30 miles outside of Melbourne. I blame it on their ridiculously modern technology. It's impossible to hide now. They can track you through your phone. In all honesty, I'm always glad they did find me. I didn't much fancy life on the run. And a hopeful part of me thinks that I can make them see the truth. Make them see that it wasn't me that murdered him. That it wasn't me who set up the deal. I was double-crossed by him and by everyone else in their sordid little gang. Listen up, Miss King. Fact is, your DNA is all over your dead lover's body. And forensics matched your fingerprints to the ones covering the murder weapon. You're still going to sit here and try to say that you had nothing to do with it? Woman to woman here. Just tell me the truth. Oh, please, just let me explain. Okay, okay. So I look a little guilty. But I was totally set up by my charming, double-crossing, poisonous boyfriend who didn't actually love me at all. The deal was all his idea, and, and when it went wrong, he tried to drag me into it and ended up leading the gang right to my front door. So now there's a masked man and you're just an innocent victim, right? What on earth did he get you caught up in? I think, officer, we're going to have to go a lot further back than last night if you want the full truth. Well, I'm waiting.